you're welcome to my channel in this video we are going to be looking at another topic in um, accounting and that is bank reconciliation so i'm going to look at bank reconciliation and um Bank re reconciliation is something like making an agreement, agreeing like in case there is a difference between uh, the cash book and then the bank statement. So we are going to be dealing with two two statements: the bank statement and then the cash book. So bank reconciliation is uh, for making an agreement between uh, the bank statement and then the cash book. Like in case something was recorded in the bank statement and it wasn't recorded in the in the cash book, or in case something was recorded in the cash book and it wasn't recorded in the bank. Yes, yeah, so that's what we are going to be dealing with. So the first thing we are going to look at is uh, what causes the difference between the two. Yeah, and then um, before that, when we are doing bank reconciliation, we prepare to we prepare when we are dealing with bank reconciliation, we prepare the adjusted cash book. So we shall have the adjusted cash book. And then we shall have the bank reconciliation statement. The bank reconciliation statement. So these are the two documents. We are going to be preparing these two from these. Like they give you the bank statement and then the cash book, all the items that appear in the bank statement and the items that appear in the cash book. Then you're supposed to prepare the adjusted and then the bank reconciliation. Then another thing is that errors made in the cash book are corrected in the adjusted cash book. And errors made in the bank statement are corrected in the bank reconciliation statement. Then the cash book is prepared by the company. Then this is prepared by the bank. Yeah. So let's look at the causes, like what causes the difference between the cash book and then the bank statement so these are some of the differences these are some of the causes of the differences between the cash book and then the bank statement first is uh, unpresented checks unpresented checks it's like um, they have already recorded that money they've already credited that money in the cash book and then the check wasn't uh, presented to the bank so it is credited in the cash book but it's not debited in the bank so that is the unpresented check then the uncredited as you hear uncredited it's not credited in the bank meaning it has been debited it has been debited in the cash book but not credited in the bank yeah, so that can cause a difference then uh, Bank charges, bank charges, remember sometimes the bank, okay, most of the times the bank charges, like if you're keeping money in the bank, they have those charges, yeah, they can be monthly or annually, so those bank charges can be recorded in the bank statement, but when they're not recorded in the cash book, so they can cause a difference. Then um, we have errors, errors can be company errors made in the cash book or they can be bank errors made in the bank statement so 
errors can be things like uh, overstating, understating, omission, stuff like that. Yeah, so errors can also cause the difference between uh, the cash book and then the bank statement. Then um, standing orders. Standing orders, it's like uh, it is an order that is given to the bank by the company for the bank to be paying maybe the bills, the bills of the company. For example, the company can order the bank to be paying maybe its water bills at the end of every month, electricity bills, TV subscription, stuff like that. So that is a standing order. So in case of a standing order, like in case they have paid electricity for the company, yeah, that money will be debited debited in the bank statement but not credited in the cash book then uh, we have this one and checks this one added something that is rejected when a check is rejected by the bank but when that check was uh, already recorded in the cash book but then it was rejected in the bank so it can cause a difference between the cash book and then uh, the bank statement.